Uh, in this video, I'm going to make the ortho center. So I'm going to look at making the um, uh, the altitudes of a triangle. I don't have a triangle. I didn't print one off, so I'm just going to make one. And if you are at home and you don't have a printer, you didn't Google some triangles, uh, it, it doesn't matter. You can make your own. I'm going to make one that's acute. Uh, you could make one that is obtuse, or you could make one that's right if you wanted. So I'm going to go with maybe a... Should we go 45 degree angle? Why not? And let's see, I'm gonna make it exactly that big. No idea how big I actually made that, but it doesn't really matter because now I've created a triangle. And making the altitude for any of these, uh, it doesn't matter what the triangle originally looks like, you, you can still make the altitude. So the altitude, just as a refresher, goes straight down from a vertex at a 90 degree angle. And then from here, it'd be straight down from the vertex at a 90 degree angle. And from here, straight down from the vertex at a 90 degree angle. That's Those are the altitudes. Okay, so I'm going to start with, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll start with this one just to show it. And then I'll pause my video, make the others so you can see what that looks like. Okay. Here we go. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the pointy end of my uh, compass on the vertex that I'm going to go straight down from. So I'm going to go straight down from here. I'm going to set the pencil to the other vertex. So I'm setting it right to that vertex there. Um, and then I'm going to make a half circle. So I'm going to actually spin my paper instead of spinning my compass. There we go. And basically what you've created is if you kind of, don't do this, but if you were to connect the dots like that, you would make an equilateral triangle. Um, and, and that's helpful for us. Okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to split this new line segment that I've created. So I'm going to ignore the remainder from this. I'm just going to look at the, at this dash that I've made and that vertex there, and I'm going to make the perpendicular bisector. I'm going to cut that line in half, and it's going to go straight up at a 90 degree angle through that vertex, which is what I want. So I'm going to ignore the remainder, and I'm just going to make the perpendicular bisector of this new line segment that I've created here. To do the perpendicular bisector, I'm going to put the pointy end on that intersection point right there, and I'm going to set my pencil length to just over half of this new uh, this new line segment I've created. So that's sure that's over halfway from here to there. Halfway be about right there. It doesn't have to be any specific amount halfway, but just about halfway. And for the sake of this video, I'll make that full arc. You do not have to. In fact, I probably won't for any of the other ones. All you really need to do is create the intersection points. But I know that some of you are making the full arc, so I'll do that here. Um, the problem with making the full arc is you get more lines to keep track of, but you can still do it. All right, I'm going to connect the vertice with the two dashes that I just made. Like that. And now I've created the perpendicular bisector. All right, I'm going to pause my video and I'm going to make the other ones. So magic of YouTube, um, when you when I pop back in, uh, the other ones are going to be, going to be created. But that's so take your your own time and make the perpendicular bisector for this one. Excuse me, the uh, altitude. Sorry, the altitude for this one, altitude for this one, and they should cross at one point. Hopefully, it crosses at one point for me as well. So I'm going to pause it and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. So originally, I think I had my paper like this. Yeah. And I created this altitude uh, in front of you. And then I'm create, I created the other two altitudes by doing the same thing. You can kind of see it. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit here. There's a little bit of an arc on the bottom there. There's a little bit of an arc on the bottom here. And then there's a whole bunch of little cross in the middle. I don't know if you can quite tell. Uh, if I can zoom in enough on that, but my three perpendicular, or excuse me, my three altitudes are off by maybe a millimeter, half a millimeter. They're not quite on top of each other. So I wasn't perfect. 
and I don't, ex I don't need you to be perfect. So if you do have them off by just the tiniest little bit, um, put a dot in the middle and hey, there they go. Uh, they're all in line now. Uh, if you're off by a significant amount, you know, if you're off by like a centimeter, you've done something wrong. Even a half a centimeter is pretty big difference. I mean, I was off by maybe a millimeter. Uh, you could see it that it was off, but it, a millimeter is nothing. You, you did everything right. Um, it, it's just hard to be perfect. If you're off by more than a couple millimeters, half a centimeter even, that's that's significant, and you you should probably redo it. But if you're off by the tiniest little bit, that's okay. So that's the ortho center connecting the three altitudes together. If you go online and you see somebody who does it slightly different from me, that's okay. Uh, you are welcome to do it that slightly different way. I'm going to do it this way just because that's the way I'm going to do it. But uh, if you see a slightly different method and you want to use that method, you're welcome to do it.